Okay, here I'm back again for another 10 minutes. Uh, I'm just out of shower, so my hair is wet. Uh, I'll come closer so you can hear. The last video wasn't too clear. Uh, okay, what did I do today? Today I went out to help uh, my fr the people who live in this house are Vietnamese and they have like a beauty salon and they're wanting to open up another store. Oh damn, my legs are hurting. Okay, I'll do this. I'm just work on my legs today. Stretch them and shit. Anyway, I was like uh, mediating a uh, meeting between them and the owner of the building. He signed a piece of paper saying he was going to do lots of stuff. And then later he's like, oh no, I'm not supposed to do that. So I went in and I'm like, yeah, I have, is this your signature? Is this, is this not say that you are going to do this? So like the people that I'm helping, they uh, want to get some extra free months, but the guy wasn't budging. And he's like, I'll give you your deposit back, but I'm taking back the money I used to fix the walls and shit. And I was like, no, nah, man, that's like not our responsibility, because you would need to do that anyway if anyone else was going to rent the shop. So we're meeting again tomorrow with the contractor to find out how much all the fix change, the repairs he's supposed to do is going to cost. And then we... My side, the, my friends are going to pay for it, and then we're going to deduct that from the rent. That's what we want, anyway. So, the people I'm helping, they're trying to con the guy. They're like, yeah, man, we're just, uh, just pretend it's going to cost a lot. But really, they can get a friend who would do it for free. But I don't think that's right, so I'm, I'm trying to persuade them not to do that. Just trying to keep my arms bent so there's, like, more weight on, more pressure on them. My arms are so skinny now. They used to be strong used to be. That's why it's important to do this every day. Uh, so I'm going down to my mom's. I've been sleeping on the couch here for like two weeks. I don't have a house or anything, so I'm kind of homeless at the moment. I'm kind of meeting with uh, the guy who said he was giving me a shop tomorrow, so hopefully this can be resolved. I mean, I traveled all the way fucking from the other side of the world for, to here. I left a job, my dream job in China. Teaching Chinese teenagers English it was the easiest shit ever. Half the time I didn't even do anything, I just talked to them and stuff like that. So, uh, hopefully we get that resolved and we're meeting with those, the estate agent again for the shop. But I'm going back to my mom's, my mom, my mom, because I don't think I should be a burden on these Vietnamese people anymore. Considering they're the people who bailed me out when I was in China, I just came here just to say thank you for them. Uh, I think once I get my job and things like sorted, I'll probably rent, pay you some rent and move back in here with them. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. So we got uh, three minutes. What else can I talk about? Uh, I'm interested in playing Skyrim. I played it on my brother's PS3. I downloaded it. Uh, off of Steam, yeah, paid for it. I got the full pack, all of the expansions. Uh, so I'm looking forward to immersing myself into some Oblivion Elder, Oblivion Elder Scrolls. Uh, oh. So I want to get rid of my stomach, but I don't actually believe that doing sit-ups actually gets rid of the fat stomach. I think I probably need to go running or something jogging, but I hate running. It's so fucking boring. Ugh. This shit's hard doing it every day. It's really tiring being in this position. Oh. Damn, I need to take a rest. I should do maybe do this for some time. Move my arm. I'm back arms. Bend my arms a little bit. Okay. Let's come a bit closer. Uh, yes, I've not been eating meat. So I'm trying to lose weight. So yesterday I ate some chips and some cheese for lunch and then nothing but fruit all day. I ate like a million oranges. Uh, so you can see my fat stomach. It came out in the video yesterday. I tried to hide it. People already sent me messages saying, haha, your fat stomach, it's seven minutes. I was laughing. Yeah. So that's why I'm doing this video again so quickly. Uh, I hate being fat. It. I don't. I know I'm not actually fat, but I feel fat. I used to be so thin. Oh. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, this is kind of cool. I can probably hold this for maybe a minute or something. Uh, wow, I look really stupid. I said, Dad, I'm like the fucking, uh, the grudge. Hey, I'm a fucking Japanese ghost. <sighs> so why isn't the thumbnails working on Facebook anymore? I'll upload it just to this video and it's just a link to YouTube. I wanna, uh, I want people to watch it on Facebook. But oh shit, this hurts my arms, my elbow. This, I hope this guy's face hurts ten times worse than my elbow. Got me right in the funny bone, right in the funny elbow bone. My elbow, elbow. <sighs> Halfway, fucking sick, man. Why am I so tired? I'm a disgrace to myself. Uh, so I know some people commented on some videos that I uploaded a couple of days ago for the Satan Squad chat. I'm guessing people who watch my YouTube channel who don't actually know about the Saiyan Squad. It's just like a Facebook group that I administrate, kind of. Uh, recently there was like a lot of wars, people arguing, kicking each other out the chat. Uh, so we tried to bring some peace back to the galaxy by making some examples out of a few people. But it kind of ended not satisfactory. I gave some people away, the people who got kicked, I gave them like way back in, democratically again. But uh, nobody bites. So I guess I'm going to have to be the only saying who is uh, going back into active training and trying to spread awareness of our movement. So what is our movement? What is Saiyan Squad? Uh, kind of started, you know, Jalen Thomas, this black kid who tried to turn Super Saiyan. That's really what the, that's re literally what the video is called. Black kid tries to turn Super Saiyan. So, uh, we kind of all came together because we all thought this was like the best thing ever. Because I actually do believe that people do have some uh, inherent uh, abilities inside themselves that doesn't actually come out. And the thing with Super Saiyan is that this Super Saiyan only happens when you really need it. Hence why Vegeta, he could only turn Super Saiyan when he's about to die in space after he's like in this fucking asteroid fucking shit. I don't know. Goku needed it to be Frieza. But uh, if you're Super Saiyan, you can pass it on to your kids. Uh, maybe when I have kids, they may be able to go Super Saiyan. Uh, so, what's, uh, still got to talk for two more minutes. Okay, what, what's, I'm struggling, I'm really not much of a blogger, I don't know what to speak about. Uh, maybe next time, I should try a different exercise for the video after doing this, but I don't want to do any other things until I find this 10 minutes easy and I'm not moving so much. Oh. Like, uh, I want to get back to the stage where I can crawl about like a monkey. Again, like, uh, I used to be able to run pretty fast on all four, on my hands and legs, hands and feet, like a monkey. I could go pretty fast. The only way to stop was to do, like, a full roll. So, I want to get back to that. Uh, so, hopefully, ten minutes every day. I'll stick to it. So, that means a ten-minute video every day. Uh... Until then, I guess. Oh. Oh. One minute. I'll try and hold this. Make the last minute count, but I really don't know if I can. Holy shit. Nah, I can't. I'm a fucking weakling. I'm a, I'm a fucking... <clears throat> I'm an embarrassment to myself. I used to love being fit and strong, and then I got lazy when I started university. I didn't do any training because I was too tired of staying up every night and doing like. By the time you finish call university, you have to wake up early in the morning, so it's not very fun to train when you're tired. I used to be so addicted to it every day, but now I do nothing. I'm so out of breath. Just ten more minutes, ten seconds.
Okay. I'm okay. Stop recording.